Hi, Kefron fans. It's Jody Green with Tie Down Tip Tuesday. Um, this Tuesday, we're inside the barn. Uh, it's a little warmer in here than the four degrees outside right now, but it's definitely doable, and, and we're getting ready for some, some upcoming rodeos and stuff. But today, we're going to talk about uh, a, a tip for you, and the tip is uh, we're going to do it on this dummy here, and I want to talk about um, catching tails. Um, guys have emailed me and, and, and messaged me about uh, what was a good, uh, good way to not maybe catch a tail. And uh, what I can tell you is uh, if you know like you know, a good way to, to talk about catching tails, you'll catch a lot of tails on a slower calf, a smaller calf. And what I like to do is, you know, you got your normal spoke, is I like to shorten my spoke up, get a little closer to the eye um, of my row when I know I got a calf that's a little slower or a little smaller so I won't catch that tail. And so, because I'll swing my rope and uh, my hand will be really closer to that eye. I want, to, I want my hand to be closer. So I got a shorter spoke, a little shorter distance between your hands. You want to check your distance between your hands too if you're catching tails. So, here I go. I get my rope out in front. I really look at the neck. Tight. And that neck, that your neck catch is going to be really tight on a, on a shorter spoke than a longer spoke. And I'm going to show you what happens if you got a longer spoke. Watch the row. See how it comes around? The eight comes around. Well, that eight can come around and catch the tail. And probably you can catch that tail of the cat. Now, back to what I was talking about right here. Shorter, shorter spoke, smaller calf, slower calf. I really look at my target. Follow through, boom. See how tight that is? How quick that ain't come around. So the tip this Tuesday, it's uh if you're in a, if you got a cap that's a little smaller in the pen, a Longhorn, a slower Holstein jersey, um, a slower cap, and, and and you're worried about catching that tail, just remember, shorten up your spoke of your rope, check your distance between your hands, and really look at your target of your neck and pull your slack really fast. And uh, I hope this tip helps you. And uh, guys, stay warm, keep roping. And I'll see you next Tuesday for Tidy Out Tip Tuesday.